Well, 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 Arsenal are finally back playing in the Premier League for only the second time this month and came away with a vital victory away at the City ground. Overall, no matter what the performance was, this is a massive victory for Arsenal in a place where they haven't won in many years. But what did this result actually show us? Now, first of all, like many of you, I was very happy to see Emil Smith-Rowe start in the starting 11. I have refrained from doing a video about him because I've seen a lot of other creators do it and I didn't really want to step on anyone's toes. But overall, I do think he deserved to have a time in that left centre mid while also playing on the right that I have said briefly in other videos. I thought overall Smith Rowe played pretty decent. There was obviously times where he struggled to get into the games and sometimes you may not notice him but he's very quick running with the ball. He gives us a lot more intensity in that side and actually makes us create a lot more going forward a lot easier. It's more just down to his pace than rather anything else but I do think that's very vital and he's very good with their little one twos in tight areas. I think overall he was encouraging in that position. I do think there is issues going forward still but I do think that he is showed a lot of promise there and I think if you give him some more games you could start getting some real output and real creativity from him but also helping the midfield in procession but overall I think he looked really sharp and he did show a lot in the game I do think there is some sort of tactical issue still we still keep crossing the ball in quite early and Smith Rowe is simply not going to get in there and win any headers like Havertz if you're going to play Smith Rowe you've got to think about changing the system up in that way we shouldn't really be looking for crosses because I'm not going to lie Jesus is not going to win a header in there and often the times unless Gabriel's in there I think it's kind of pointless and that leads me on to another positive of the night is Gabriel's performance yet again he is becoming a reliable source in that defense I honestly think he is a case for being one of our best players this season with Rice and I think for large parts of last season he was one of our better players as well of course he does get a lot of credit and a lot of help from our brilliant defenders around him such as Saliba but Gabriel has been brilliant this season and he has really turned up in the last two years for Arsenal and I do think he's going to be one of our biggest centre-backs for the next few years in the game he also got the captain dance man for a little bit before Jorginho came on I think he can really do that job well when he gets the chance to and I'm running out of good things to say about Gabriel. I also think Rice is very good in the midfield like usual. He did pretty much his job. It's not a lot he had to defend because Arsenal had the ball most of the time but you know you take it. I think he still had a decent game and Gabriel Jesus I think is one of the biggest talking points about this game because at the end of the day he got a goal in the system won us the game but there's a lot of chances he missed and I think there's a lot of things he showed good and bad in this game. On one hand he's got to score the chance from Odegaard. That's brilliant play by Saka and Odegaard put him through. He's got to score and then somehow from a throw in he scores from the improbable angle goal and makes it even though it seemed impossible obviously Turner's poor goalkeeping did help that his assist was also very good for he did really good to pick out Saka but there's sometimes in the game where he just can't finish or can't get a shot away and he just seems so scared to shoot sometimes this is really costing us in the first half where we just had 82 percent I think possession in that first half and only had like one shot on target we just weren't doing enough with the ball we were just waiting for something to happen and sometimes you've got to go out and get there we're not always going to get a necessary lucky goal from a defender making a mistake and I think Jesus proved tonight that he definitely deserves to be in the squad at the moment and I do think that maybe we could move him into a winger position in the future because I don't think Martinelli or Saka really had particularly good games even though Saka did score the winner and Jesus does like going out wide and helping the team and he works well with Zinchenko on that left so maybe that could be the future because he's really good creativity and really good at passing and making through balls to the team and making good movement inside the box but I agree with what some people are saying he does seem like he just moves too much sometimes he doesn't sit in the same position you want him to and it's the complete opposite it to problems that we used to have with Lacazette when Lacazette didn't move. It feels like Jesus is just doing a bit too much sometimes and I'd like to see him calm it down and calm with the ball a bit more, not get as much agitated and actually take some shots. You are a striker but right now he has to be in this team and if we do buy a striker in the summer which I expect us to, I do think that he should probably be maybe moved out to the left in some games when we play different opponents but also be that backup striker that could come on. He also could do a job in midfield but I don't think Arteta would ever play him there but he is not good enough to realistically win Arsenal big trials maybe in a cup competition he'd be good as a clutch player but I don't think consistently he's going to score enough and more importantly put away the chances that we give him however that is harsh because he did do really well this game in the end he got a goal and a really good assist so fair play for that he really kept going and did it in the end and scored a goal which is harder than the one that he missed but fair play to Jesus in this game I also want to say Zinchenko I think had a really good game his passing his movement I thought he was really good good assist for the first goal great little throw and we're getting really good at them throw ins we've been doing them a lot recently I'm very impressed and I actually thought Zinchenko in the last few games for Arsenal has really proved that that was wrong. Of course, he's not the best defender. We all know this, but he is a really good passer and there's a reason why he's in the squad and he does help the team going forward. And I thought today he showed a lot of control in that midfield and I was very impressed. I thought he was very good. But with a team that has around 80% possession, I do expect Arsenal to be having at least more shots on goal or having a bit more risk. I understand they're worried about the counter-attacking aspect of Nottingham Forest and teams against us because we've been very bad at it. And even Nottingham Forest stole a goal right at the end. Awayini, he always 
goes against us. It's a mix up in the box. I think Saliba makes a mistake and it's another goal that we really shouldn't be conceding. Paul Raya, yet again, his save percentage is one of the worst in the league, but stuff like that is definitely not his fault. There's nothing he could have done about that. And then eventually did a save in the last minute, which is pretty easy enough. And that was literally all he had to do all game. It's also interesting how much we do rely on set pieces in certain situations. They weren't really working in this game because maybe Matt Turner knew what we were doing. It just didn't really work. And in the end, we caught them slacking from a throw in and scored. And then obviously we broke brilliantly for the second goal. They gave the ball away as a 4-2 and two, and we did a brilliant pass. Great finish by Saka. And we are so deadly in them counter-attacking situations. But sometimes that doesn't happen because you need to take the lead early. And when you're not scoring set pieces, it seems like our team struggle a lot to create chances in good areas or at least put them away sometimes. I did think our back line was usually as good as it is obviously unfortunately they conceded a goal but they were pretty comfortable back there obviously not if I didn't have the ball a lot and didn't really attack so fair enough they did their job and I think Ben White is still holding a little bit of a knock so I'm not sure if he's going to continue to play but I thought he did okay even though some people weren't very happy but you know I think I'll take it and obviously Arteta later on in the game did his same for same subs Havertz came on I think Havertz does have a lot of calmness on the ball but obviously the issue with that is sometimes it's a bit too slow don't mind him coming on this game when we're 2-0 up at the time kind of gave us a bit more control there and he's a little bit more calm on the ball but sometimes he definitely is a bit of a liability didn't think eddie was really good coming on either i think he was a bit worried kept trying to force things that didn't really happen and wasn't really thinking with his head enough i'm also very interested thomas party apparently still injured he's been in full training for four or five days now but didn't make the squad yet again still disappointed like to see him in there sometime and with next game is against liverpool on sunday which is obviously a big game i'm someone that's done many videos and spoke a lot about i want Jorginho to play i think he's brilliant in the fa cup game against liverpool i think that really worked but Klopp is a smart man, so maybe he's already counted that, so maybe that's not the best. But I'm not sure it's the best to shove Smith Rowe into these sort of games when he's still getting back to fitness, still getting back to the run. But then at the end of the day, you need him to have a run of games. But such an important game like this, is it good to risk that? And maybe Havertz does deserve a start in that midfield to win us the duels, which is going to be very important against Liverpool and getting at them. But I do hopefully have a good performance. At least we actually hopefully take our chances like we didn't in the FA Cup. We really need to get a result from this game and we really need to win to even have a chance to win this title. Overall, to summarise the game against Nottingham Forest, I think Arsenal had a lot of comfortable possession. We were very comfortable on the ball, and in the end, we just about scraped it. We did what we needed to to score. We did miss a couple of chances, but we didn't create too much. We kind of just waited again. But hopefully, it will improve a bit more when Smith Rowe gets brought more in again, gives us the ball a bit more quicker. But it does make me happy that Arteta has clearly seen that identified that left centre mid spot, and he's playing Smith Rowe. He's actually trying other things in there, and he's actually trying to give it a go in big away games. That was a big game against Forest. We haven't won this since 1999, and it's there's a lot of balls to do that and I respect it and I'm really happy that Smith Rowe started in the end. Let me know what you guys think about the game and let me know what your predictions are for the Sunday game or who do you think he's even going to play. Who was your man the match and who were you impressed by or disappointed by in the Nottingham Forest game? Let me know down in the comments and I will reply to any I can. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your view on this video and I appreciate you watching any of my content. If you like any of Arsenal content, please, I would recommend go and watch my video about Arteta and how important he is to this, to this team. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.